Well, on the issue of hate speech, um, Adi has been very successful in calling for uh, stricter sanctions against members of European Parliament who engage in hate speech. We understand that members of European Parliament, all political leaders, have a duty and responsibility to act responsi responsibly when it comes to talking about minorities. We don't disagree with the principle of freedom of expression. Everyone has a right to freedom of expression, but that freedom of expression must come within the law. The EU is clearly set out in its framework decision of 2008 on racism and xenophobia, the restrictions on freedom of expression when it comes to hate speech. So incitement to hatred is an illegal act. And we believe that members of European Parliament should be held to the same standards as citizens of Europe. And therefore, where I can say we've had two successes is first of all in the European Parliament's own internal rules of procedure. These are the rules that govern the, uh, the work of members of European Parliament and their behaviour. And just recently um, we've tabled amendments to the EP's rules of procedure to make the sanctions even more stronger to, against those MEPs who engage in hate speech. So for example, the, the fine of a salary, a salary suspension has been tripled. And if an MEP engages in hate speech uh, on, a, on a consecutive basis, the, the fine is doubled. So in effect, it's going to act as a deterrent for MEPs to engage in hate speech. Also, MEPs who engage in hate speech will now not be able to represent the European Parliament in any external activities of the European Parliament for one year. So these are concrete examples of how we're trying to set the example from within the European Parliament. Just, last, just two weeks ago, uh, we also saw that the parliamentary immunity of two members of European Parliament who engaged in hate speech, one against my own boss, the former Italian Minister of Integration, Cecilio Chienghe, when one of the MEPs from the Italian far-right party, the Lega Nord, uh, called her an orangutan and you know, referenced her to being a monkey. Well, when he tried to have his parliamentary immunity upheld, the European Parliament decided that his actions didn't constitute the activities of the work of a member of European Parliament. And therefore his parliamentary immunity was waived. And now he's going to face the trial at the court of Milan. And so I think that's also showing that, you know, we are making good efforts. And on this particular issue, I have to stress that members of European Parliament, all political leaders have a, a duty because Hate speech leads to hate crime. There's a, there's a clear co correlation there in society. And the important thing here is that members of European Parliament have to understand how powerful their words are when they're reaching out to European citizens. And if they don't act with responsibility and with care, we will see a rise in, in hate incidents against vulnerable minorities who are already feeling threatened. We've seen what's happened with Brexit. We've seen what's happening across Europe with the Austrian presidential election and with the rise of the Front National in, in France, with Gert Wilders in, in Denmark. Already we see that in, in Finland we see the true Finns, a far-right political party, are actually in government. So we have to be careful in the direction we want to go in Europe.